How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in this four-wheel Tacoma pop-up camper, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. Last week on Adventures of Hotel Taco, everything was a disaster waiting to happen. Between Camper catching ringworm, my bike breaking, and having some car issues after off-roading to a remote ghost town, let's just say it was definitely a wild ride. Yet, despite all these problems, we were able to get cousin Sarah to her flight back home and get everything fixed and we're back on the road headed west. Good morning. All right, we have a massive drive day. We are headed from Missoula, Montana, deep into Idaho, one of my favorite places in the entire world. Unfortunately, in the past few days, a massive wildfire has broke out, quite a few of them, and the dryness and heat is not helping. It doesn't seem that it's affecting the route we're taking. I called and found out that Highway 93 is still open, but uh, as I'm driving closer and closer, you can see there is just smoke covering everything. I uh, really hope this doesn't stop our plans, but like all days on the road, we need to be adaptable. So let's see how this goes. That's where the fire is. This is amazing news for the fires. It is starting to get a little bit late here, so I am kind of just scouting a spot to sleep for the night. Uh, most of the time in national forests like these, you can find dispersed camp spots marked by fire rings. Uh, many are free and some are paid, usually with a maximum stay of about 14 days. Gotcha. <sighs> you guys, we've been driving for eight hours today. I am pooped. But uh, we are almost at the camp spot I have in mind. Let's just hope no one's there. I actually found this spot by accident three years ago just by randomly driving down this dirt road. So I'm really excited to be back here. Oh no, there's so many squirrels. Camper won't be able to handle this. Do I want to make grilled cheese and soup or carrots and hummus? Or like none of the above. I think we might just go to bed. Yeah. Camper, can't we just go to bed? We're not gonna catch any squirrels today. Hey, everybody. 
It's so cold. Oh, hi. Hey there. It gets to like 35 at night, but by like 3 p.m. today, it's gonna probably be around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's gonna be hot today, my dude. We gotta start moving. We want to hit the trails early. We're going to go ahead and pack our bags, make some food for on the trail, move the car to the trailhead, and hit it. Looks like a good spot. If you guys remember, I used to do all my hikes in really heavy duty hiking boots. But over the past year, I've been changing that uh, and slowly working my way to wide toe box barefoot shoes. I used to get really intense foot and toe pain. Very, very intense actually. Ever since I switched, it's been so much better. The pain has slowly gone completely away. So highly recommend switching your footwear, even if it doesn't look that fashionable. That's the good stuff. Boop, boop. Right in the line. No crack burns. All right, dogs are required to be on leash, so got a little contraption here. He's still on leash. Camper, this way. All right, we are just getting started here. We have about a 10 to 12 mile hike on the agenda today, about 2,000 feet in elevation change. I'm already breathing pretty heavy. I don't know if that's the elevation or the smoke, <laughs> but uh, whew, we're working. So this area and this hike is really special to me. This is one of the first places I came when I moved into my car. It was maybe a month or two in. I didn't have a YouTube channel. I was barely posting on social media. It was a really beautiful time in my life. So I'm really excited because I get to take you guys on one of my favorite hikes, but not just because it's absolutely beautiful, but because there's a lot of sentiment behind it and a lot of really wonderful emotions. So I thought I would take you guys along with us. Getting higher here. Whew. I'm gonna say go this way. This is tough. We made it to our first alpine lake. <sighs> wow. All right, you ready to get to the top? Final stretch, one mile. All right, final stretch. I don't see too much more to climb here. <sighs> oh, okay, 
Maybe a little bit more. We got one more lick. A little further to go. Good boy, camper. We did it. And we have the whole place to ourselves. This is amazing. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna jump in. down. Let's go. did it but we made it back down perfect timing before the heat set in uh, but we do have to beat the heat during the day so we're gonna head to the nearest lake and just hang out there all day And we've left the ground. <laughs> <laughs> in the water anymore, do ya? All right, I got you. Taking yourself on a walk? You found a stick there? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Whoa. Good job, camper. Water boy. There is hope for you after all.
So small change of plans. Uh, one thing living on the road full time, especially as a solo female, is I always have my family and my best friend Lauren who know where I am at all times. They follow my location. So Lauren just saw where I was right now and it ends up we're really close to each other. So we're gonna go meet in the nearest town and go have some fun together. Ah, I'm so excited. She Hello. comes. Hello. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. <laughs> I got this for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, Join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all.